Well, yeah. no introduction needed. Everyone, D1 is in the building. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's Welcome good, back. Track Star Nation? Thank y'all. Yeah, it's yeah. been a minute. You've been into a lot of stuff since the last time you were here. <laughs> a lot, yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. A oh lot. Oh, my gosh. You hear me? Yeah. But God, God been with me through it all, so it, it's been a beautiful journey. Yeah, and we also got TK Lee in the building. Y'all what's say what's up, TK Lee? T Kizzle. And we have Track Star's very own, wrestling in the hey, building. Everybody. Bless you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Glad to have you. All right, sir. So last time you were here, when was that? Oh, man, that was three years ago when I was doing the Make Me a Rapper Challenge. So since then, <laughs> since then, you, you, uh, you made a statement mm-hmm. in hip-hop. Mm. You started a movement yeah. mm-hmm. trying, to, trying to get hip-hop back on the right track. Mm-hmm. Caused a lot of controversy. Mm-hmm. Uh, the recent thing that you've been getting in the controversy over was you came, you came out with a video saying you're not voting for Donald Trump, mm-hmm. saying that you're going to vote for Kamala Harris, mm-hmm. And people lost their minds about it. Yeah, certain people. Certain people <laughs> lost their minds about it. And the reaction was, how could you vote for Kamala Harris when she's about this, this, and this? You mm-hmm. should be voting for Donald Trump with us. What's your reaction to that? I laugh at it. Honestly, I laugh at it because, um, man, we have four years of him in office. And with those four years, I just look at what took place and i'm just like man the country was more divisive than it's been in my lifetime you know what i'm saying yeah we look at that january 6th insurrection i don't know what people trying to cover that up and call that and act (laughs) like that wasn't something different you heard me and a lot of that was people saying it's in the name of jesus you know what i mean and and we just seeing the way he constantly just we we lowered the bar so much while he was in office in terms of what we expect from a president in terms of decorum character. and how they carry themselves and character, right? You know, um, I believe he went on record and said that a convicted felon shouldn't be able to run for a president or something like that. Mm-hmm. And now he's a convicted felon. <laughs> you heard me? <laughs> Running to be president. Yeah. Like, just all that. And I still ain't got no 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 beef with him. You heard me? Like, mm-hmm. I wish, sure, if, if, if he wanted to sit down and chop it up, we could do that. But um, being an American, we have the right to say, who we want to vote for and not vote for. And that doesn't uh, impact whether we are Christian or not. Because right. mm-hmm. we can all still say, oh, you voting for Trump, I'm voting for Kamala, you voting for Robert Kennedy, you voting for Ross Perot, you voting for Newt Gingrich, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and we all love Cornel Jesus. West, and we all love <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. And, 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 and we can sit here and have, we should be able to model it for the world how things don't have to become so divisive and so uh, toxic yeah. when people have different voting preferences. But I've seen inside the body of Christ that people will go so far as to say you are a Satanist yeah. mm-hmm. if you are not voting for a Republican. Yeah. They will say you are not a Christian. It's impossible to be a Christian. They say all kind of things. And I'm so thankful that I did it. Like, bro, God be having his hand on me even when I don't realize it. So from the outside, people might look at it like, oh, D, you said this. And it caused controversy. Controversy, man. It opened my eyes, mm. the eyes of a man who just be out here doing as good of a work as I can do with the yeah. gifts I've been blessed with. You mm-hmm. know, trying to spread the gospel, spread love, be an educator, be a dope hip hop artist. But it showed me, like, oh, inside the body, we are broken and we are extremely divided. Mm-hmm. I got my black Christian friends and family members saying, man. Anybody who vote for Trump is a racist, right? Mm -hmm. Saying Trump is a racist, saying all this stuff. I got my daddy who has fallen out with another family member in our personal family because he found out that family member voted for Trump, right? Mm -hmm. That's on one hand. On the other hand, I got people saying the exact opposite on the internet, talking about, oh, if you're not voting for Trump, you're not really Christian. You're not really saved. So me seeing that, I'm just like, oh, it's possible, once again, God called me to be a bridge in this world. And being a bridge means there's a way to have healthy discourse and dialogue, especially within the body of believers, mm-hmm. to where we might have different voting preferences for our own reasons. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And Christians act like they're holding a gun to your head. Like, yeah. you got to tell us why. Why you ain't voting for him? Why? I could go on my page all day online and be pro-Trump this and ignore him doing this or saying this, ignore all the lies he tell. Mm-hmm. But you, you say you're not voting for him? That gun up to your head, you better tell us why. You better tell us why. You better tell us why. I see your lives. I'm, yeah, I'm you see it. that? Yeah. And, and, then, and then you go on live for an hour and a half for two hours with people who... Uh, or voting for a different candidate than me, and we and we both talk about that, you know, yeah. and we both express why we feel how we feel, and then 
people come back in the comments and say, you still ain't tell us why. <laughs> no, y'all just are bothered that I am not going to vote for the daddy. Yeah. So so yeah. here's my question. I, and I got a picture with his wife. <laughs> like, ain't no beef. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? Like, me and his wife did a speaking engagement before. Yeah, okay. She got booed off the stage in uh, in Baltimore, Maryland. And, and <laughs> literally, and I had just got a standing ovation. And she got booed off the stage. And I was like, man, I was feeling bad. Like, I, I believe that I actually went out there and was telling them kids, it was teenagers, I was like, y'all, that's not what's up, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And I know that, that these kids didn't know what was what, and she didn't do nothing wrong yeah. to deserve to get booed, but yeah, it was just yeah, yeah. who she was married to. Sure. And yeah. then it was like, oh, my mama and daddy don't like your husband, so we gotta boo you when you come on stage. And I told them teenagers, like, that ain't cool, man, that ain't gangster, that ain't what's up. And I took a picture with her, I got it in my phone right now. Like, it, it don't have to be all this, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. people just, they don't know how they don't know how uh, how God would want us truly operating with people who have opposing views than us. Um, yeah. yeah. So we we have on our team we have some people voting for Trump. We have some people voting Kamala. We have some people not voting at all. And we have discussions all the time. And we we love each other. Yeah. So it's sad to yeah. me that we see this division happening in in uh, society. And I'm I'm on the side where I agree with you. I think Trump is one of the worst people ever. <laughs> and I got people on the team that disagree with me. I guess the question is, <laughs> you went from I'm not voting for Trump to I'm going to vote for Kamala. How mm -hmm. did you get to that place? Yeah, because, brother, I was a math teacher before any of this, right? So I understand numbers. So Trump has been the front runner. So not voting for Trump and just choosing not to vote at all is the same as basically voting for Trump. Mm -hmm. Because if, if he's the front runner already and you just simply say, well, I'm just not going to vote at all. Or I'm going to vote for a third party kind of candidate who has a zero percent chance of winning. Mm. Then that's not really helping uh, him to not get elected. You feel me? Yeah. So for me, it's like there's only two candidates who have a chance to win. Even if it wasn't Trump, uh, Kamala Harris, even if it was Joe Biden, my vote was going to be against whoever. It, yeah, yeah, because I am more anti him than I am pro in any of them. Yeah. And some people that bothers them because they want to micromanage my voting preference and say, well, if you're just anti him, then just don't vote. You don't have to vote for this person. No, I don't want him to win again. And if he wins again, I'm going to pray for him like I'm obligated to do. Mm -hmm. I'm going to still love him. I'm not going to. There's going to be no hatred that I have or vitriol towards him. Mm -hmm. But on this side of the election, pre-election, that's not who I would like to see win. So that's what made me say I'm going to vote uh, for Kamala Harris. Do, do you think? Do you think that um, the people that's mad at you say like, "Yo, that's a free endorsement for her"? Like you just, just a free endorsement, her. dog. My bag is good right now. <laughs> like my bag is good. A free endorsement. I don't need no money to do, dog. My my platform is something to where I realize that that is an obligation and that is something that is is a blessing for yeah. me to have to where yeah. I know that there's a lot of people at the crib right now that's sitting back like I'm undecided, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I'm, I'm seeing all this propaganda. And what I was seeing is it was becoming very one-sided inside the body of Christ to where mm -hmm. people could be pro-Trump on they, on their pages and their platforms all day. And that goes, you know, un, uh, untalked about and that, sure. that just yeah. becoming the norm, right? Mm -hmm. And my thing is like, that's fine if that's what people are on. But we're not playing bully ball. Bully ball is when it's like, it's okay for us to be pro him, but nobody better not try to be pro her mm -hmm. or else we yeah. coming for you. Yeah. We coming for, who is we? And who y'all coming for? Uh, what? <laughs> that, we don't do that around here. Like, yeah. like that's, not, and, and that's once again, that's that, that's that behavior to where Christian nationalist behavior is something that People get it twisted and they, and they start saying, well, God told us that they, what happened to all them pastors in 2020 who was saying that God told them that Trump was ordained and destined to win the election. What happens after that and after he loses, either they get so embarrassed that they have to now say, oh, well, uh, they cheated. They stole the election. They're yeah. out of the will of God. Yeah. And then something like that gives justification to that's why we got to go and in the name of our lord and savior we got to go try to overthrow the capital and we got to go you know and, and we got to go incite this violence up in washington dc man this is nasty dangerous mm -hmm. harmful rhetoric mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. so like i also understand this some people are so deeply embedded into the conservative side of christianity that they could say they're voting for trump and nobody cares because everybody that follows them 
rocks with Trump. Mm-hmm. Some people are so deeply embedded into the black Christian church, right? The black church that they say they're voting for Kamala Harris and nobody is appalled. Everybody's like, boy, you better be voting for Kamala right, Harris. Right. Why da, are we da, talking da. about this? Yeah. Then you got some people that's like, I'm going to strategically just kind of exist in the middle and I'm not going to get involved in politics. I'm just going to keep pointing it back to, hey, it's all about God. It's all about God. Mm-hmm. So either they're not interested in politics or they are interested, but they are just like, that ain't going to be a good look for my brand if mm-hmm. I come out either way and say right. who I'm voting mm-hmm. for. I'm the person that's like, yo, I'm open to voting for anyone, but this particular election, I feel it like really, really, really deeply ingrained in my spirit not to vote for, for Trump, yeah. right? So I speak on it. And when, if I'd have said I was voting for Trump, I'd have had Buku Kamala Harris uh, fans <laughs> mad and, and super mad, yeah. right? So yeah. I, I, I picked a side. That's my thing. I, I drew a line in the sand. Yeah. I feel like, honestly, I feel like he drew the line in the sand yeah, um, yeah. Uh, just with his rhetoric and everything. Plus, I will say this. I was in Killeen, Texas. I had just finished speaking at a church, and I was getting ready for my concert I had that night. I was in my hotel room. And I'm looking on my phone, and my ears were good, dog. Like, I'd be washing my ears, you know. I'd be putting in, like, <laughs> Q-tips, all that. I, I, I looks on my phone, and I see a, 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 a clip pop up, and he's speaking at, like, a Christian conference or convention or whatever. And I know body language, too, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Notice how I say I know body language. I don't say... I know body language and turn my head like in the no direction. Right. He's talking. He's talking <laughs> to all I'm, these. I'm, nah, I'm a Christian. He's talking, talking to his people and mm-hmm. he points at himself and his head is shaking like this. <laughs> and he's like, I'm not Christian. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And amidst him saying, Christians do this and Christians do that and Christians do this. I'm not Christian. Christians, but Christians, vote for me this time and you won't have to vote in four years. Trust me. I, it, it won't even matter. I have it all fixed. I have it all fixed. You know, da, da, da. Three things. Number one. It sound like you playing in our face, dog, because it sound like you just pointed at yourself, turn your head to the right and say, I'm not Christian. But you're like marketing yourself as like this this, this Christian guy. You know mm-hmm, what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like that was weird to do you me. Think, do you think he flubbed it or do you think he intentionally said not Christian? Because, you know, people are saying he said, I'm a Christian. Right. Maybe Freudian slip not to this day took it back. dog that's one flub i ain't gonna make uh, i ain't gonna make that mistake like i'm not christian versus i'm a christian yeah. like i'm not making that mistake my g yeah. like like bro like that yeah. matters more than anything yeah, you know i have less of a chance of making that flub than even saying like like i'm not from new orleans you know what i'm saying everybody know i'm from new orleans and and and, and I, I enjoy that i'm from new orleans but I would have a better chance of flubbing and being like, oh, I'm not from New Orleans, um, than, than being like, oh, I'm not Christian. That would have been somewhere I would have had to be like, oh, my bad, y'all. I let that slip out of my mouth. Let me correct that for anybody who, who <laughs> might have heard wrong. Yeah. I need y'all to know I am a Christian. Yeah, like, there's yeah. no way I'm talking too fast in the moment, and that's ambiguous. So, how, so what do you do then with what Kamala supports then? Uh, gay marriage, abortion, you know, yeah. all the transgender stuff. That's the thing that's keeping people mm-hmm. on the Trump side. Because he, even though I don't believe he is against those things he either, not, bro. he still says he's going to be against those things. What, that's the real rub. How do you deal with that? Yeah, so the reality is, and thankfully I had a, uh, I had a few very positive, constructive uh, IG lives recently. One mm-hmm. with my man Tofa, yeah. you heard me, and one with my man Bryson Gray. That was a good one. And, and Bryson opened my eyes. He was like, man, I ain't even vote for Trump this go around. He was like, because I thought he was against abortion. He was like, no, he's for abortion up yeah. to 15 weeks. He was like, I thought he was against all the LGBTQ rights. He was like, he's like for the rights he had him at the crib he had him at the crib and he told the transgender <laughs> people y'all could use whichever bathroom y'all want to use da, da 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 and all that so i'm just like sheesh so i, I said it in my initial video like look i don't agree with all the um kamala's policies yeah, like yeah, I, yeah. I don't but what political candidate will you ever agree with all of their policies you know what i mean right, right, right. none so my thing is this um when it comes to like when it comes to abortion for example right um, I hear everybody saying that they want to vote for this party or this candidate. Let's not turn these candidates or these parties into idols yeah. to the point where we're blindly following yeah, them, yeah. right? Yes. But everybody's saying they want to vote for the Republican Party because they're anti-abortion. First of all, it seems like the candidate, candidate that's currently running, Trump, is not fully anti-abortion, number one. Mm-hmm. And number two, 
if we really saying what we want to add here to the principles of the Bible, why ain't nobody saying we need to be anti fornication? Because mm. it's the fornication <laughs> outside of outside of uh, wedlock yeah. that leads to yeah. these unwanted pregnancies yeah. to where people even consider getting an abortion ninety nine percent of the time. So when people go back and forth on just these policies and just this, that, and the third, man, we got a lot of uh, embedded hatred in, in people's hearts in this country. We got a lot of people who are racist mm-hmm. still in this country. Mm-hmm. We got a lot of people who really, their version of Jesus or the version of a Jesus that they follow still has to be contingent upon their social economic status being higher than some other people. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's still a lot of stuff that uh we need to like strip down from how we are even viewing uh christ the christ that we all say we serve so, so and, you, you yeah you were up at the white house yeah how did that come about did, yeah. did they reach out to you did you nah donald trump hit, hit me up you heard me he called my cell <laughs> and he and for real he gave me twenty five thousand dollars and he was like look i want you to go to the white house d because when you go to the white house we're gonna all the way just throw them off we're gonna mess their head up you heard me <laughs> and then you gonna nah bro um Man, I went to the White House with some amazing community violence interventionists from around this country, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. To well, we were up there advocating for something that I would think we would all be on the same page about, sure. which is wanting to decrease gun violence in yeah. our communities, yeah. man. Decrease gun violence. And you got people on the ground that's doing this amazing work, right? In in their cities all across mm-hmm. the country. Mm-hmm. I've been an advocate for like decreasing gun violence because I've been so personally impacted by my loved ones dying, getting shot, my students getting shot, yeah, yeah. getting murdered by one of my other students, me almost getting murdered, having a gun on, on my temple, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And dudes threatening to blow my brains out. So we were up there doing that. I was blessed to give a speech at the White House okay. advocating against, yeah, just gun violence overall. Oh, um, and, the, and the only thing that some narrow-minded, beautiful, amazing, <laughs> lost Christians could say when they saw I went to the White House, only thing they could say is, they better not take our guns. Yeah, you know I saw, what I'm saying? I saw that. They better not take our guns. I hope y'all ain't think y'all taking our guns. Man, they better not take our guns, man. <laughs> Who them people think they is? Bro, what are y'all talking <laughs> yeah, about, my yeah, G? Yeah, yeah. People we are just, dying. <laughs> we just advocating against uh gun violence inside of our communities. Yeah. That's all I went to the White House for, bro. What, can you yeah. clarify? Would you have gone if Trump was in office and he asked you to come up? Man, absolutely. So if he win, you heard me? I'll be right back there if he'll have me. Bro. I'm the first rapper in Louisiana history to become a governor's appointee. It was a Democratic governor, nice. John Bell Edwards, who appointed me. Wow. We currently have a Republican governor, Jeff Landry. Mm-hmm. The council that I sit on, which is the Louisiana Council for the Success of Black Men and Boys, that council oh, still man. exists, but now it's under Republican leadership. Okay. I'm not going to say I don't want to be a part of that council no more because we got a Republican governor. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I'm not Democrat or Republican. At this point in my life, I'm independent. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I grew up Democrat because I grew up in a black family yeah. in New Orleans yeah. without a lot of money. And it's just like, that's just what we do. Yes. That's what I was taught. You know <laughs> yeah, what I mean? Yeah, but true. now as a grown man, yeah. it's like, oh, yeah, like I identify as an independent. <clears throat> so I don't have blind loyalty to anybody but Jesus Christ. Amen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't get why everybody's not there yet. It should be obvious. If you're a Christian, you Bro. should be an independent. Nobody owns your vote just because you're black or just because you're right. a Christian. So imagine, lie to you. imagine pastors in the pulpit every Sunday not being there and spewing this negative rhetoric and hatred, telling people, I just watched this documentary and I'm seeing pastors that saying, get out my church if you're voting for a Democrat. Mm, yeah. Me- meanwhile, wow. meanwhile, I know that they got black pastors in this country. That's like, if you vote for Trump, you ain't got no business being in here. Like, yeah. da da da. <laughs> On both sides, it's... It's, it's not it's not the way that Jesus would want yeah. us being. And yeah. I can say that confidently on yeah. both sides. Yeah. yeah. And my thing is like, hey, y'all, all the people who feel triggered by a dude that's brave enough to just come out here and say, look, just like we supposed to pay our taxes. It's part of being a responsible citizen in this country to vote. Sure. So many people died just so we could have this right for women to vote, for black people to vote, just everybody. So with that being said. It shouldn't be a thing where we are talking about two imperfect candidates, Mm -hmm. two imperfect parties, but there has to be this group think that's saying Christians are only allowed to be one way. It's showing how flawed we are inside the body of Christ Mm -hmm. that we are getting this divided over a vote, a vote, (laughs) a vote, like a vote. It's showing that. So all the pastors out there, all the artists out there, 
all the people who think they're hurting somebody's feelings by saying, we un- I'm unfollowing you. They got to announce themselves first. I'm about to unfollow you. I just wanted you to see this first. You know what I'm saying? Like, thank you. No, thank you because sometimes with the mission God has me on, it'll be like, D, you might be a little naive to how dark this world is and how dark the body of Christ is in some ways. Wow. And I think I was a little naive before this. Yeah. So mm-hmm. it took for me to use my public platform to say uh, how I feel in terms of who I'm voting for this election and how and how I feel. I'm just like, even with Christians, I'm like, man, hey, this to my Christians, like, we can't, we can't let this dude back in office. If you disagree with that, that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. But not to the point where we're saying, oh, D1 is satanic right. or D1 yeah. is, is, is not in it's the spirit. The payroll yeah, or, or D1 is payroll. on the payroll. Or, oh, you only got that White House <laughs> invite because da-da-da. Boy, I've been to the White House before this. You heard yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. Like, and yeah, it's just like, I just know y'all so fragile and y'all so triggered. I ain't even post pictures when I went to the White House the first time three years ago. I posted this picture from when I went this week because I knew it was going to ruffle some of y'all feathers. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what it did. You know what I'm saying? Like, like y'all, like y'all need to, y'all need to do better. Like, yeah. like stop, bro. Like stop with all, all yeah, the conspiracy man. theories and just all this. Like, bro, this is showing me a lot, bro. You like, prepared, it's showing me a you lot. Pre- you prepare for all the videos you're going to have to make after this interview? After this? <laughs> bro, I, I personally am at peace. I'm making the video right now that, oh. that, that needs to be made because everything I'm saying right now is just an accurate representation wow. of where I stand and how I feel. And if people got to do their reaction videos to this and people say, see y'all, and they cut this little clip out and say, see, right here, he said they better not take our guns d1 is racist because he's yeah. that's that sounds like a white man's voice man miss me with all that bro with, with all that because it's not that the love is too deeply ingrained in the fabric of who i am to to be trying to like hate on anybody and you know they got people out there man who like they are just really they are really bothered right mm-hmm. now they are really bothered they borderline like obsessed with me you know what i'm saying and <laughs> for real crazy, bro. behind behind this yeah behind this like they are really upset and obsessed upset yeah. and obsessed and my thing is like once again i have modeled for people who didn't know how you could have intelligent dialogue it's not about rebuking someone because of who they are choosing to vote for that's not a thing that's 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 false uh rhetoric right there in a person's head if they think that it's about rebuking someone and if 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 uh if we are in leadership positions, we should be able to model for people what it looks like to say, okay, we can um right. we can disagree <laughs> and we can still move forward. Yeah, so that's that. Okay. Uh, especially when we got personal relationships with people, we you got personal access to exactly. people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you know, last thing I'm gonna say, I see some people be like, well, D1, you you called out Rick Ross or you um called out Jim Jones or Meek Mill or da da da. First of all, I didn't know them brothers personally. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? To where it's like, oh, I could just hit them mm-hmm. uh, directly on their line. And number two, like it's okay if if they are putting out music publicly, yeah. then if that's something where I'm just like, yo, this music, like the content of yeah. the music, it was is was crazy. Yeah, that's not an indictment on their spiritual character or their character of who right. they are as a person. If anything, it's me big up and them saying, I know y'all can do better than that because mm-hmm. I see character wise that y'all are amazing men mm-hmm. off the mic in so many different ways. Mm-hmm. So why does the music still end up being, you know, this? Mm-hmm. Um, and that's that. And then people uh, bring up the uh, people to bring up the the Lecrae stuff. Well, you called Lecrae. No, I actually didn't. I actually was minding my own business. You heard me? And he posted a video that he later deleted. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Uh, tagging me in the video and talking about the righteous and ratchet stuff and da-da-da. And I was minding my business in Chicago airport. I had just performed at a festival. And I'm like, what What he tagging me in this for? And I'm like, oh, wow. Like, this dude just made a video, like, talking about me. You know what I'm saying? And some comments I made and tagging me in this video so then mm. yeah and same thing it's like okay you got access to me and me reaching out to him and me asking him like would he want to talk you know what i'm saying i said this multiple times it was documented publicly and it wasn't something where you know he was trying to have that that type of conversation mm. so that's where it's just like hey same how, same how, how are you man like dealing with all this like i remember i remember seeing a video when you like really teared up like how are you dealing with all that? how are you feeling like those those attacks are real. So it's yeah. like, you, you're, mm-hmm. how you feeling? Like, 
like the, I'm being real like yeah how yeah, yeah. Feeling, the video bro? you talking about it probably was during that rick ross <laughs> yeah, time yeah yeah it was because i had just lost my grandpa um oh, yeah, yeah, uh yeah. like Sorry a month or so that, before man. that yeah, yeah bro and you know anybody who know me know like just how that relationship is yeah. with me and my yeah. grandpa so he had just passed so when all this was happening um i was on instagram live and i was fine dog. Yeah, i was fine yeah. and then somebody came in them comments and was like man don't worry about none of these people i know your grandpa is proud of you mm. and something about just reading that you yeah. know what i'm saying yeah. like yeah. something about just reading that and just being a month removed from him passing yeah. away um yeah. had got to me you know gotcha. what i'm saying yeah. and and then even when i was on the pivot podcast i remember yeah. and i had like teared up because yeah. i was reliving trauma in a real way yeah. where they asked me what was your pivot point yeah. in, in life period yeah. and i and i just remembered i'm just like man it was it was when sometimes I could talk about that stuff and it's all good, but for some reason at that time on that platform, yeah, like that stuff just hit me. So how am I? Like I'm, I'm honestly, I'm honestly great, bro. Okay, like oh, honestly, like okay. like honestly, because I've been a well liked dude my whole life, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, just naturally, not like I don't know how to go out my way to try to impress people, right. but naturally it's been been like, oh David, he a cool dude, we like him. <laughs> he the captain of the basketball team. He the homecoming king yeah. in high school. He just a cool dude that people like. The thing is, getting into the rap game, you start to realize that the higher that you ascend, mm -hmm. the more that people love you, but people also start to hate you, right? Yeah. So for me, yeah. realizing that like, oh, I don't have a unanimous approval rating with people actually became something that's like a badge of honor because if i master the art of being a people pleaser chances are i'm not pleasing my lord you mm, feel me yeah. that's good. That's and so when when this type of stuff happens i always have to check my heart check my motives like why mm -hmm. are you doing what you do saying what you say d yeah. um mm -hmm. and if it's if it's a departure from what christ would approve of or what christ would want then it's a thing where i gotta ask myself okay but this is the thing people don't understand bro like, I'm not hurting for no attention. Mm -hmm. I'm, I, had a, I had a small bucket list of things that I wanted to do in this industry. I checked the last thing off the bucket list when I made it to the Breakfast Club. You heard mm -hmm. me? Oh, wow. Like, just to be mm -hmm. honest with you. Bro, I've been famous since 2010 when my first music video ever went viral. Mm -hmm. Then I was on tour with Grand Hustle shortly after with T.I. I mean, uh, with Killer Mike and Young Drew. T.I. was in jail. But like, it ain't no, oh, he just trying to be famous. That's been for 15 years at this point. Mm -hmm. It ain't, oh, he just trying to make it or whatever. Yeah. Been made it. It yeah. ain't, oh, he just getting paid to go to the White House. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the bag is all the way secure on this side. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, it's to the point where I've created generational wealth oh, by yeah. the grace mm -hmm. of God through, mm -hmm. through my blessings. You know what I'm saying? And that's without going in detail about yeah. what I got or what I don't have. So when people say all of that stuff, it really don't like impact me in a way yeah. that's sticking to me because that's it's good. like nah like it ain't yeah. no clout chasing it ain't yeah. no i don't have no beef with nobody bro yeah. i don't have no beef with nobody literally but i just know that there's some people out here who is like their spirit just feel different when you're around them some yeah. people in christian hip-hop for example yeah. got this heavy spirit of competition inside mm -hmm. of them yeah. to where like I thought we was cool from day one, but I really was just <laughs> I really was just a puzzle piece in your game to try to ascend right, to right. where you trying to get. You know what I'm saying? That stuff kind of hurt me when I find that out yeah. about a person. Yeah. You, you, <clears throat> you seem to get frustrated by when Christians have uh, alternate motives for why they do what they do. Mm -hmm. It yeah. seems like I imagine it's really frustrating when people seem to be on your side when you were you know going after the hip hoppers and all that mm -hmm. and then this happens with with um politics do, do you ever feel like then why were they on my side for this if they're not with me on this no all i see is that they showed their hand that mm -hmm. that yeah when it comes to certain issues for them and that the only that that issue should only be if d1 is out here praising satan himself right. or denouncing that he loves jesus christ or that he is a believer then at that point i ain't got nothing to tell d1 mm. but even then it shouldn't be i ain't got nothing to tell d1 <laughs> it should be i'm still called to love on d1 because yeah, yeah, he could yeah, come yeah. back to the faith yeah right you yeah, feel right, me yeah, yeah. truthfully yeah. like man i ran into uh my little brother uh rockstar jt mm -hmm. um out here i had just came back from africa fresh off the plane from africa i seen him and he came up to me and he was like, man, you know, big bro. And he called me big bro because I went to his high school uh, when he was in, in, in school in Montgomery, Alabama, bro. Yeah, yeah. A high schooler. And I was doing the same work I'm doing now, you know, speaking for the youth, performing, 
being a positive role model, you know what I mean, repping God first, and knew him ever since then. Mm -hmm. And I know he's had his ins and outs in terms mm -hmm. of where he is, in terms of his right. faith and all that type of stuff. But when he saw me, he knew it was a safe space. And he was sweating, and it was 100 degrees mm -hmm. outside. Man, I gave that boy the tightest hug he ever got in his life. And he <laughs> told me that. He was like, nobody never hugged me that tight. <laughs> and it's just because it's like in a real way, it's like, mm -hmm. bro, yeah, you, you might, you might, and we just talked uh, about like some of his uh, statements or stances on things or this, mm -hmm. that, and the third. But because there's real love there, it ain't going to be no, I got to try to publicly out you or, or, yeah, or, or yeah. anything like yeah, that. So sure. for me, it's just like my, my old student um, from back in Baton Rouge, um, Joe Scott, he said they hated on Jesus. Mm -hmm. So who are you for them to not hate on you? You exactly. know what I mean? Right. And when he say that, that always sticks with yeah. me. So, um, the more that the hatred comes uh, or the, the disrespect or the, um, oh, I thought they had my back, but now they trying to disown me or publicly call me out. The more that that comes from within the body of Christ, mm -hmm. it just lets me know, like, we got work to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you're doing so the right thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. got work to do. So and you're not alone, bro. Like, yeah, yeah. I hope you don't feel that. Like, I like, like, yeah. like sometimes I feel like when I watch you, I'm like, I hope he don't but, feel like he's well, alone. Well, I'm going to tell you this, big brother. Um... I feel like, I feel like when people say you're not alone, sometimes, I and you know, I can't get mad at it because people got other obligations in their lives, but I feel like when the negativity and, and, and the hatred is like super loud and in all bold letters and all caps mm -hmm. and people making these videos and yeah, all this yeah. stuff about me, some old man, this man about 70 years old probably, just made a whole five minute video I, I'm amazed that he know how to use technology as well, <laughs> like for real. Because he got the Harvard emblem. You know, I'm a yeah, fellow at Harvard yeah, University yeah, 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 yeah. where I'm doing amazing work, repping for the kingdom up yeah, there, you know. Yeah. He's like, oh, D1, ever since he went to Harvard, and now he said who he voting for. Like, oh, he's I all see. this and I that, see. all this. And he's, yeah. a, he's Satanist and all this wow. stuff. Uh, he's a big fraud. He been a fraud. All this stuff being said, I will say, bro, that I don't see people who be like, Man, we finna come and have D ones back publicly. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Like right there, like 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 directly with the people that's trying to go at him. Yeah. Sometimes I don't see that gotcha. as much. Okay. But I'm to the point where it's like, man, I don't need people if they don't feel called. That might not be your calling is mm -hmm. to be like this person trying to talk crazy about D. I I feel differently than they feel. Yeah. I'm about to come stand up for him. I can't get mad at you if you're not gotcha. doing that. But Sometimes it does create this this mentality of like being like a one man army, yeah. God by I mean, my side, said, said so no ago. man can harm me. Yeah, this yeah, is the story yeah. of a one man army. Yeah. Cause it's just people who it's like I see some people who I'm just gonna put it all the way out there. Some people uh, in, in inside the Christian space who they'll try to uh, align themselves next to me just so that they can kind of like position themselves to get some of the the perceived shine or energy or attention that they mm. see that I have, you know, mm. and I know it. I, I know that energy. I yeah. feel that energy, yeah. man. Like, cause I don't come from, I didn't grow up in Christian hip hop or in, you know, I grew up on the East side of new Orleans, dog. Like I done seen it all. Yeah. So I know the energy well. And, and, and I know, I, I know that I know people be yeah. slick competing, you know, some people, yeah. and I know the people who not slick competing, you know, yeah. and I love them and appreciate them, but they got certain artists who, yeah, they, they slick side competing with me. They got some artists who they, uh, they, they feel a way that they feel like, dang, I feel like he didn't pass me up or whatever. Mm -hmm. I got to try to, you know, take mm -hmm. some, they think it's a formula to what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So they're like, let me oh, try to figure copy. out yeah, the yeah, formula yeah. to, and do my version of yeah. what D1 is doing. Yeah. I got some people that say like, D, like what you doing, man? You calculated this perfectly. I'm like, bro, none of this was planned. Like yeah. n none of what is happening. So I see it all, I feel it all. Um, and if I keep it a thousand with y'all right quick, bro, um, I got a bone to pick with y'all, man. <laughs> I got a bone to pick oh, with no. y'all, bro. Go ahead, let us know. I've been all right. live supporting you. Everything. All right, all right. <laughs> it, it, it ain't a bad bone. And, yeah. and me picking a bone with somebody ain't no, Got like, you. you know. So it's something that I, I legit internally go back and forth about. I feel like competition inside the Christian space is not healthy. Okay. All right. So 
Uh, I don't even, bro, I live on my own island, you hear me? Like, Birdman got Stunner Island, we just gonna call it Uno Island. Like, I live on my own island, bro, where I be in my own world, my own zone, focusing on the work I have in front of me. So I don't be seeing a lot of things, right? Mm -hmm. Like, like I actually know way less than people might think about mm -hmm. current events and stuff that be going on. That being said, uh, I think when I was in touch with y'all about, um, uh, we was talking about me maybe coming up here for this, right? Mm -hmm. Somehow I stumbled across like a round table discussion y'all had uh, where it was like D1 versus currency, right? Oh yeah, right? line for line. Right, line, line for line, right? Yeah. So I'm like, oh, so I instantly when y'all say currency, like that hold a special spot in my heart because we grew up across the street from each other oh, wow. in mm -hmm. New Orleans, literally across wow. the street. So that's like big bro to me, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. um, so then I, you know, I went down the rabbit hole. I watched the whole episode. <laughs> so uh, the brothers that y'all had up here with y'all, who was they? I have no idea. It was like three dudes. Like they were all, they all seemed like they were like industry professionals of some sort. I can go look back and look at it. It was three, it was three dudes, right? Yeah. Three dudes. Uh, it was three dudes. Uh, and it, so every song y'all would play, y'all compare my song to his song and mm -hmm. da, 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 da. And I just feel like overall, whether it's comparing Christians to other Christians, which I think like whether we talking about which pastor better, you know how people say who better, Kobe or LeBron, mm -hmm. who better, uh, yeah, Jordan or, or, or LeBron, da da da. Yeah. In the Christian space, I personally feel like we shouldn't be doing that stuff because I feel like that sets a precedent in the minds of fans to where there just starts to be this hierarchy and people people can't even get on a song together no more without people saying who had the harder verse who better who who killed who on the song da 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 mm. and we all supposed to be like no we're above that type of thinking as Christians, we're literally above that when we're doing God's work. It wasn't Jesus saying, so which one of y'all apostles is, is, is better than the other one? And, and what's the hierarchy of apostles and all that stuff? So I think that that stuff is dangerous, number one. Mm -hmm. Number two, when, when it happens with a Christian and, you know, I don't know where my dog currency is stand, you know, spiritually, um, it, what he would identify as. I know he has a great heart, you know what I'm saying? And that's, that's, that's my dude, for real. Um, that being said, when I was like, wow, they, they compare me to currency and, and our songs and people playing it. There's no comparison when it comes to, I don't care how dope, and, and I'm talking about the dudes that was on here mm -hmm. with y'all, because some of them, I, I think, a couple of them was just really anti anything that played from <laughs> D1. A couple fans, of them. Yeah. yeah. It was um Dion playing and um, Elijah, Chris Elijah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, oh, and, okay. and so, so my thing is like, yo, we have this platform and as believers, we should be to the point to where it's like, yo, we not even making room for people to come on here and insinuate there's something of the world that's, that's not even worrying about trying to glorify God on any level could ever be seen as better than oh, yeah, yeah, something yeah. that's mm -hmm. like it's using the same art form and it's clearly using that art form for what we know God would be impressed with. Like this is why you should be using yeah. this talent of being an artist. So creating that space. Now I did look at the whole thing and I won. You know what I'm saying? I saw. <laughs> I saw. I'm thinking you lost. No, 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 no. Okay. I won. I won, but I wasn't impressed with the win. Mm. I wasn't patting myself on the back. Yeah. Number one, because I know, because I know Shante Franklin, aka Currency, personally. Yeah. Number two. It made all of his fans just like probably oh, hate sad. D1. Cause yeah. I saw them in the comments like, how dare y'all even compare currency to D1? Mm -hmm. Like how da da da? What they don't realize is mm -hmm. actually they got a lot of people that saying, how dare y'all even compare D1 yeah. to a dude that's rapping about, you yeah. know, da da da. So I was just like, oh man, on multiple levels. Cause then that's my boy. Like I could mm -hmm. FaceTime him right oh, now. Wow, you know what I mean? Yeah. I know his mama, his daddy, his sister. So. I was just like, okay, my dogs up here, y'all creating this space, you know what I mean, for this. And I was just like, dang, I see like the, the roof leaking in multiple places in terms of like the, the, the precedent that sets. And then I try to yeah. empathize and I'll be like, okay, y'all are in media. In media, like that's a dope discussion to have. Who not talking about what was better, Ether or Takeover? You know what I'm saying? Who not talking about what was better? Who's better, Lil Wayne or... Um, I don't know, back in the day, uh, Joel Santana, you know, mm -hmm. like I'm talking about when I was a kid coming up and, yeah. and people having these talks. So I get that. But then I just think that there's a, a, a fine line being in 
Christian media mm-hmm. and, t- and y'all ain't the only platform y'all probably uh, I feel like other platforms do this I feel like I told the dudes from what's it called the crew, the crew? Yeah. hip hop mm-hmm. I feel like I got on their platform and told them the same thing you know what I mean like all fairness I don't know if Rapzilla be doing that or not yeah. you know I don't keep up uh, uh, enough to know but all of y'all is my people, you know what I'm saying? Even yeah. if somebody is like, I don't like D's music that much, or I don't like this, I don't like that. Um, with that being said, just food for thought, just something I wanted to put out there. Mm-hmm. And, and and it's something to where I would like to even know y'all heart behind it because I oh, empath- yeah. it's like being a DJ. Like I just had to perform at the Conference for African American Financial Professionals the other day, right? Mm-hmm. It was an all-white party. Mm-hmm. So you got people who manage uh, wealthy clients' money for a mm-hmm. living, right? All there. And it's a DJ who, who DJed. Uh, he's not like a Christian DJ or whatever, but he's a dude who uh, I could tell he is just like a, a, a grown professional, not on no like no 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 foolishness, just a grown man in, in every sense of the word, right? Mm-hmm. But I realized that when you DJ, it can be tough if you feel like, dang, I got to give the people what they want, mm-hmm. you know? Got you. Giving the people what they want, though, is also what Punches Pilot did yeah. when it came yeah. to yeah. handing over Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I got to give the people what they want. We should never get to the point where we are saying, I'm going to give the people what they want to the point where it might mean I'm compromising on gotcha. you know what God has given me this leadership position to do, whether you're a DJ, whether you're in media, or whether you're an artist. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? If I was mm-hmm. giving people what they want, I would not be rapping about what I rap about. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm glad you brought this up. Um, you're not the first person who said what you said. We've really? had this conversation yeah, many yeah, times yeah. before. Do you know how it started? We've been doing it for 18 years. You know how it started? Y'all had this show for 18 years? 18 yeah. Years. Boy, I know you lying. You serious? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's gangster. So we, we've right. had we've had several conversations. We had the same conversation with who? Uh, Kenny, Swoop, Dizzle, Dizzle, yeah. um, all, all of them. Yeah. Right. Okay. So Belief. let me mm-hmm. tell you. Let me and we've had same 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 uh, critique. The reason why we do it is um, when we started back in what two thousand six. Yeah. Two thousand six. We we had an episode. I think Ryan was out of town. We yeah. had four hours. We were on Clark Atlanta. Four hours, Clark Atlanta student run station. Mm-hmm. So we were trying to kill time. And I remember saying something to Jeremiah. And at the time we had crates, right? So we were going through CDs and he, you know, he had like, you know, flip book full of CDs. <laughs> and I remember saying something to him like, you know, this, I, or you said something to me that you said Canton Jones was better than R. Kelly. I yeah, think that yeah, was the yeah, first yeah. argument yeah. we had. And I was like, Canton Jones is better than R. Kelly. And yeah. we love Canton Jones. Mm-hmm. I was like, I, in my mind, I never would have imagined that a Christian artist could have been better than a mainstream artist. To me, mainstream means you good. Christian means you on your way. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's how I, that's how I yeah, saw yeah. it. He pulled out his crate of CDs and said, I'm going to prove it to you. He put in, I, I would play a R. Kelly song. This is bad. This didn't age well now. But <laughs> I, I pulled out an R. Kelly song. He pulled out a Kent Jones song. I was like, hmm, okay, that was, that was dope. That was good. Mm-hmm. I pulled out another one. He pulled out another one. Yeah. I was like, Yo, maybe I'm wrong about this. This dude is good. And what we realized, because we had somebody on the phone with us, and they were realizing the same thing I was realizing, that I had a bias towards mainstream. Mm-hmm. I assumed mainstream means good. And him proving that to me that day, I wanted other people to experience that. Because mm-hmm. there's a lot of people, there was another situation, because we, we do music as well. And I remember giving a CD to a young man that was it was at a flag football yeah, yeah. game. He looked at it, he was like, it's Christian hip-hop, do it on the ground. It's like wow, he just just because it was Christian Bias Hippop, against do it, it on the ground. Another time we put we took a song yeah. up to Radio One. You yeah, know when yeah, they yeah. they do the thing where uh, digger, they digger play the digger the dish it. They they put it on the DJ. Wait, played what did you just say? Digger the dish it. Dig it. You remember Hot One Hundred Seven Nine? Oh, I, my ears. <laughs> <laughs> that's like that Donald Trump statement. You know what I mean? That's like, that's like that. I'm not Christian statement. I'm like I'm like what this dude just stayed on on live. He comfortably cussing. Right, right, right. Okay, dig it or dish it. So. We played the song for him. They were like, yo, this is really good, but I see you trying to sneak that Jesus stuff in here. Mm-hmm. Like, what? So yeah. this is mentality. It can't be good if it's Christian. So we started doing these line for lines where we would compare the two artists and say, because the point of it is, it's not for the Christians. It's for the people in the world to say, you think so-and-so is just default good. Give them a try. Yeah. Give them a try. And mm-hmm. we did it over and over again. People just started like, wow, this is, I can't believe this. People who would say, oh, I would never have listened to Christian yeah. hip hop, D1, nothing. They listen and be like, okay, I'll give him that round. Mm. I'll give him that round. 
Mm-hmm. Like, okay, so we opened up their eyes to something that they didn't even know existed. Mm. So we've we've heard the criticism. We had to weigh it. Like, mm, I, I know a lot of Christians don't like it because they feel like we shouldn't even compare. Mm-hmm. I know you had a story similar to that as well. <laughs> we did a line for line with her as well. And we saw the benefit of it opening people's eyes to an alternative, a godly alternative yeah. they had no idea existed was worth some of the backlash we got. And a lot of the artists that we kind of explained why we started doing this, they are like, oh, I see. I see yeah. why you're doing this. Not everybody. Some people still don't like it. Like, hey, don't do another one with me. Like, okay, no problem. Mm-hmm. We never did one again. Mm-hmm. But we just saw how powerful it was. And, and I'm telling you, we, we've done this in a room full of kids. Mm-hmm. I can't remember which one that was. It was like years ago. Years and years yeah, ago. Yeah, we did a Charles room Church. full of kids. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And seeing them, kids that never knew anything about Christian hip-hop, they voting for the Christian. Like, oh, yeah, where's that? How can I get that one? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was worth it to us. What yeah. about when they don't vote for the Christians? See, the way we look at it is mm-hmm. gift is gift, talent is talent, right? What we're trying to show people is you can use your gift for yourself or you can use yeah. it for God. A song, somebody could be gifted at hip-hop. Mm-hmm. but they're using it for themselves. I want to show you a gifted person that's using it for God. They're not going to win every round. Some songs are better or worse than the other song. That doesn't matter. But I guarantee you're going to vote for one of these songs. You would have never thought you would have voted for a Christian hip-hop artist. So we're just, we just see it as, man, it's worth the exposure for the Christian artists to that demographic. Yeah. We might be wrong. Worried. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, it's interesting. I mean, once again, I, I feel like when I saw my name included in it, I feel like for people that wandered their way to y'all page that were already currency fans, mm-hmm. it made them be like, we actually don't rock with D1 more after mm. this because the audacity that people kept voting for D1 over our king, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. And, and it made it to where that bias that y'all talk about, they are just like, oh, the name D1 is associated with like, oh, uh, like... The audacity mm-hmm. that people mm-hmm. thought he was better mm-hmm. than our dog currency and, and and that type of energy and I was just like, um, I think it's I think it's worth thinking about. There's obviously something golden there in terms of like oh it's a chance for exposure or for people to see another side and maybe it's not like a because when you when you leave it open for voting as opposed to saying we're gonna show you an alternative version mm-hmm. of this so we're gonna play this artist and then we're gonna show you somebody who in our opinion, give us that same feel or that same energy, but look how they're using their talent to glorify God. You know, mm-hmm. maybe that right there is showing people as opposed to saying, I'm giving you uh, I'm giving you a, um, a Big Mac, which you're used to eating, and then I'm going to give you a spinach burger. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to let you choose which one you want. Mm-hmm. Man, give me that Big Mac every time. Oh, I'm glad you let me know that spinach burgers exist because mm-hmm. I didn't even know they exist. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But... Man, give me that Big Mac, you hear mm-hmm. me? And I feel like I saw that playing out in first person because the dudes y'all had up here too, no matter what. Bro, they was, say, <laughs> they was finding any reason to not like my songs, bro. One dude was like, nah, I just feel like he in the song. I don't like when Christians be aggressive in their music. It was the song Lukewarm, you know? Yeah. And y'all was like, I don't think he talking about nobody in particular. Like, yeah. he just saying, like, about people being lukewarm. Nah, I just, nah. And other dudes like, nah, bro. Like, just this other song, he just rapping too slow. Or he rapping too fast. Or he rapping, like, what are y'all talking about, bro? So, mm-hmm. with, so me just seeing that, it's like, there's obviously gold there to yeah, to yeah, showing yeah. people yeah. that there are alternatives because you're right some people don't know that alternatives exist yeah. to yeah. what they're already consuming mm-hmm. i gotta give you all that some it, it shocks me that some people literally don't know that yeah, alternatives yeah, yeah. exist yeah. but there's also two types of uh artists that are christians right there's the artist that is a christian that is literally like hey my goal is to be the christian version of some mainstream artist yeah. mm-hmm. out there and we've mm-hmm. seen that yeah, we and then there's the artist that's christians that's just like yo like i am just me mm-hmm. i am literally just me mm-hmm. and it ain't that i am trying to be the christian version of this artist mm-hmm. or anything mm-hmm. i'm literally just me and that alone is enough mm-hmm. to yeah, to stand yeah. on its own yeah, yeah. and i think that that's powerful as well because even with me you know i get the question a lot like d1 i went on breakfast club and mm-hmm. they were the first question dj ever asked me really caught me off guard d1 so why they call you a christian rapper because i don't see you as a christian rapper you know i just view you as like an artist who you love god but mm-hmm. you know you got a positive message or a progressive message in your music mm-hmm. why they call you a christian rapper you know what i mean and my thing is i have seen some people who 
have been called Christian rappers or who have uh, kind of like carved that lane out to where that's what they have mm -hmm. been for the longest. And clearly, you know, they didn't want to be that no more. Mm -hmm. So then it's like, oh, I'm not a Christian rapper. I'm da da da. That always felt very icky to me and mm -hmm. came across kind of like you're trying to micromanage what people view you as. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yeah, that came yeah. across a little icky, a little insecure to me, right? When I've seen that in the past. For me, it's always just been like, man, when you consume my content, whatever mm -hmm. it, it speaks to you as, then that's what I am to you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or to you or yeah. to you based on you consuming my content. So I think that in this space, like there's this rise. You know, you know, you go on Instagram now and it'll be like somebody have a video and the headline that they put on the video is like uh, Christian rap, you know, Christian rap that makes you uh, just feel uh, uh, good about your mental health or something. Or like, you didn't know Christian rap could get this lit. Some people yeah, yeah, are yeah, really yeah. like, I want to embrace like to the fullest that this is Christian rap and this is an alternative to that other stuff. You know mm -hmm, what I mean? Mm -hmm. And that's some people's way that they push themselves. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know if y'all have an opinion on that. I personally don't think that that's bad if that's how people mm -hmm. want to brand no, and yeah. market themselves. Yeah. Um, me personally, I didn't start out doing it like that, you know? So it's also a thing. My thing is like, y'all comparing me to Currency, me and Currency probably about to have a song together. You oh, know what okay. I'm saying? And <laughs> for, like people making yeah. it seem like yeah, this the alternative to this yeah. or this the alternative to a Fredo Bang. They both yeah. from Louisiana. Man, we got music together. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when they make it seem like this the righteous version and this is the you know the the worldly version of louisiana rappers because we both from new orleans me and currency it was just like mm, like it is it, 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 yeah we we did we did one um years ago with you and wayne we did you and wayne a couple times um and we got positive feedback from that like like yo dude dude is he get busy man i'll, I'll listen to him like you know what i'm saying we get what you're saying. We understand yeah. what the, the, the fact what you're saying and stuff yeah. like that. But there's no ill will here. Um, um, maybe you, you felt something from the guys. And even for them, um, we don't want people to lie, though. That's the thing, too. We right, rather you right, be right. honest and be like, yeah. I, I, I like that currency record a little bit more than D1. A answer this one for me, yeah. bro. It gets to the point to where when it comes to giving an opinion on music, right? I honestly feel like I ask myself, what would what would what would God be sitting in heaven saying, right? And I think that no matter how dope a rapper is, God would be like, I'm not impressed mm -hmm. if you're not using that gift to glorify me. Yeah. I I'm simply not impressed. Yeah. So all of the but he's so lyrical, he his flow, da da da. God would just be like, I am absolutely that's like God saying, I'm impressed with somebody that is doing Satan's work, but he's just real good at it. Mm -hmm. I never saw no compliments in the Bible where God was like, Yeah, you a beast, but just stop using it to serve the beast. You know what I mean? <laughs> just use it to serve me. Yeah. I never saw no compliments given when people like people ask me about Charleston White a lot, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um and I'm just like, same thing. Like if your lens in which you view a community activist stops right there at like who's somebody that's trying to help the community and do positive things, then you'll see a lot of positive things that you could say about a Charleston White or whatever. Mm. But if your lens is what would Jesus do, Jesus never had to do things that glorified evil or negativity sure. in order to accomplish his God-given mission. Yeah. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. So when it comes to comparing music, I think that I think God is pleased with the corniest rap that is glorifying him more than he is pleased with the upper echelon top rap in the world, top selling rap that is not glorifying him. Yeah, that's a good look. God will be like, give me that because I could work with that right there. You heard me? We got to work on your heart over here. <laughs> we ain't got to work on your flow yeah. or your lyrics, yeah. but we got to work on your heart. But your heart is in the right place. Man, God don't, what did he say? He don't qualify the call. Mm -hmm. he, he, he don't wait. He don't. He don't he don't call the qualified. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those yeah he qualified the call. You yeah. heard me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So with that being said, if God has put it on a person's heart, like I know who I'm serving with my gift. Yeah. yeah. Then at the end of the day, he'll qualify you. He had that same person that y'all was calling corny. You know that they, they are not y'all, but their yeah, people yeah, was yeah. calling corny or saying, well, they just ain't got it. God is like, man, watch what I how I could use you just because who you was willing yeah. to use your gift to glorify. That's, yeah. that's my that's my uh, that's my thoughts. I got that's you. Good. I got you. Um, you yeah. disagree? 
Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, just because I, I think when you rap, like it's obvious that you know how to put bars together. Mm. Yeah. Right. There's people who don't. Yes. Mm. What we're also trying to encourage people is you can get better at this. Like this is the analogy I'll use. Yeah. When somebody gets up at the Apollo, right? And they can't sing. They get booed off. The guy, you know what I'm saying? Boom, 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 boom. Get out of stage. If they sing about Jesus, they get about 10 more seconds. They'll still get pulled. But there's like a, there's like a respect for Jesus. You know what I'm saying? What we're trying to do is say, you don't lean on that respect for Jesus factor. You can actually get better at this. You could be so good that when they, they want to choose to listen to Wayne or D1, it's not because, oh, I, I just love Jesus more. No, it's, this dude is just as good. There's no reason mm -hmm. to listen to this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we're just encouraging the artists. that There's a lot of artists that listen to our show. They want to be in your position. They want to be in Lecrae's position, all this kind of stuff. We want you to make sure you get your character right. But we also want you to get skill. good at this. There's actually a skill to this, right? That's right. And I think yeah, the, yeah. the better you get at it, the more impact you can have in the world. You That's happen true. to be good at it, so you don't have this problem. There's some people that aren't good great, at it. That, great, great. <laughs> <laughs> There's some people that aren't good at it, and they need work. So we like, okay, maybe yeah. you want to mix that a little bit different. Mm -hmm. Maybe you want to yeah. make sure hit hit the mm -hmm. beat when you rap it. You know, yes. It's all kinds of problems. So we, we use it as a way to say, don't just lean mm -hmm. on the fact that people love Jesus and they'll give you an extra couple yeah. seconds. Get good. And this yeah. is how you get good. Right. And well, we'll, we'll say this too. Content is not a part of it. Like the actual content <laughs> that, that you spit is just the delivery. It's the bars. It's the it's the um, production. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's all we've ever actually voted on. And that's the part. I think that, it, I think that God is like, man, uh, the content matters more to God than any of the mm -hmm. aesthetic stuff. Like, oh wow, look at his vocal inflection, or look, 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 <laughs> look at that, mm -hmm. look at that punchline he puts together. I think in God's eyes that He is looking at it like, long as you are doing the best with what you have to work with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The biggest compliment I ever received from some random person, I can't even remember their screen name, is one day I remember looking online and they were like, "Yo, D1." maximizes the heck out of what he was blessed with you know what i mean mm -hmm. meaning like that don't mean that i'm the best this or the most that but they were like this dude maximizes what he was given more than anybody i have ever seen like to Love stretch that. himself to be in education in hip-hop relevant in uh uh the church in in the streets you know in yeah. politics like all that stuff he just maximizes what he was given and that compliment just hit way different than yeah. saying d1 better than this rapper yeah. d1 you know da, 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 so, da. so what do you think makes you great at rap what makes me me great or anybody you you me so what makes me great yeah. i think that i have the ability to like pull emotions out of listeners mm -hmm. based on them hearing my music mm. and i got different bags i could dip into it's like oh we got to do the lyrical bag bet check out any of my freestyles on sway in the morning you know what i'm mm -hmm. saying does d1 have that bag Whoosh, he definitely has that bag you know well, what i'm saying well, what's in the bag how do you know what you pulled out was good how do i well i mean public opinion but it's not being compared to other people who what dipped you, into a whole different bag he reached in the bag and was pooed if Some I, people reach in the bag and they pull out poo. <laughs> right. So how do we nurture that, brother? A as as leaders, I don't think we nurture that by saying this person who's rapping for the world is better than you and the public voted on that. And then you don't let people vote who aren't like in our space. Yeah. And they the ones who got a say so or on what's better. Of course they're gonna be biased towards just like y'all biased towards us. <laughs> y'all better be biased towards <laughs> us. <laughs> They're going to be biased. The majority of the time, it is biased and, yeah, towards yeah, the yeah, Christian. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and the online vote, oh, they was mad uh, when y'all did the comparison with me because the online vote, they had me every time. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> and, and them dudes was getting mad. Like, no, nah, how he keep winning? No, nah, yeah, yeah. nah, because <laughs> this is my home turf. Yeah. Y'all yeah. are the away team right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and that's my thing is like we setting it up though to where what if it wasn't me and what if it was another artist and it was genuinely like, yo, even online, if they was like, nah, dude, like we gonna give it to the, the worldly person every time. Mm -hmm. That now makes this Christian artist who has decided to use their gift to glorify God, you never forget that L, you heard me? Yeah. You never yeah, forget yeah, that yeah. L. I remember P.E. basketball games in high school to this day that I lost. Mm. P.E. basketball. Like, you don't forget L's, dog. <laughs> you don't forget you L's. Get L, <laughs> no, I didn't. No, I didn't. I'm talking about hypothetically if it was another yeah, artist. Yeah. yeah. yeah I I, my thing, I didn't get a W either, in my opinion. Because oh, wow. you, you, 
Yeah, I, I didn't feel like I accomplished something by yeah, having people by saying beating, by beating him. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm only trying to beat Satan, and currency is not Satan. Oh, gotcha. Mm, I'm gotcha. not competing with no other rappers. Gotcha. So for all the Christian rappers who be wanting to try to compete, and they constantly stay on my pages and watch everything I do, and people who you know I hear behind the scenes what they be saying, and they trying to figure out how he got on this, or I think I'm better than him, and da da da. Bro, I'm not your competition, my G. Mm -hmm. We are teammates, yeah. and we got one common enemy. Yeah. And I know yeah, the energy yeah. from a while or uh, a mile away because of where I come from. Yeah. Yeah, so ain't yeah, none yeah. of y'all slick, you <laughs> hear me? And I still love y'all, but just know that I know, you feel me? <laughs> and then people want to be like, oh, why you don't reach out? Why you don't holler no more? Man, because I know what it is. Like, yeah. Yeah. this is all just a, 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 a calculated, strategic relationship in your eyes to try to get something that you want that I have. Right. You can't take my authenticity though. Yeah. You can't. You can't study it. You can't duplicate it. You can't. Even when stuff don't make sense for me, it still end up making sense. Yeah. yeah. Cause God just got me like yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, I love that. So that's that's just what I'm on, bro. Um my twelfth album of my career, Loaded, is dropping on August twenty first. And once again, it's like D you saying all this, but then I also came out publicly and was like, hey guys, my goal for this album is to see if we could debut at number one in the world, right? Mm -hmm. On the iTunes charts. Just because I never did it before, right? Do I need that? No, bro. Mm. Like, I'm already immensely blessed. I don't need that. And you might be like, well, that's a worldly, you know, uh, trophy that you're trying to win or accomplishment. But I feel like the statement that it makes for people in the world to be like, we know what kind of business D1 standing on. It's that kingdom business all day. And him going against the grain so much so and being so bold about it came out and debuted number one in the world. That make a statement that help all of us. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, independent, yeah, yeah. by the yeah. way. 100% independent. So we number two in the world in pre-orders right now. Uh, the album comes out in four days or five days, uh, uh, August 21st. Man, go pre-order that thing on iTunes if y'all could. You heard me? Like, yeah, I mean yeah, that. Yeah. I mean that. Um, for real, for real. Go pre-order that thing on iTunes for anybody listening, <laughs> for anybody in this room. <laughs> <laughs> you heard me? Um, just because, for me, all this is just victory laps at this point, man. Yeah. Victory laps meaning like, bro, I got my mental health. I got monetary mm -hmm. wealth. And I got my message intact. I know who I'm serving, right? Amen. In the rap game. And I got longevity. Like, Amen. all this is victory laps at this point. I'm just looking for new things to be like, to keep me excited and inspired. But I am in love with this platform because this platform that we have as public figures mm -hmm. who are using it to glorify God, this helps us to make impact at scale. Mm -hmm. You know what Amen. I'm saying? So shout out to all the unsung heroes that's doing what we do. They just don't have the platform we have. Amen. We need y'all too. Yeah, we need y'all yeah, yeah. as well. Yeah. But at this point, man, like it, it worked, man. I, you know, I remember when I quit my job as a middle school teacher and I was like, is this going to work out? Like, is this a me mission? So my mm -hmm. first, if you go back and look at all my albums, my first album that ever came out, right? The first bars on my first album, if I ain't supposed to rap God, please let me know. But if I'm supposed to rap God, please let me blow. If I don't sell a lot of units, I ain't stressing. If I don't sell here, I'm going platinum in heaven. You hear me? Mm. I prayed for this not to work out if this wasn't what God wanted. Yeah. And all these years later, a decade and a half later, it must be what God wanted. Because mm. it didn't work out. You feel me? <laughs> it, it, it's worked out, bro. It's dope, bro. Yeah, go, go pre-order it. Trying to get you to win that uh, yeah. number one spot. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> like, like he, like <laughs> we voting for you. Thank you, bro. Um, no, but seriously, yeah. make sure you get that thing to number one. It makes a huge difference when people start to see, hey, because the message I see is that, hey, I don't got to rap about that nonsense to, that part. to to do well at this stuff. That Look part. at D. Look at all these people. They they not compromising, and they still winning. That part. That's it. That part. That's it. That's it, bro. Man, I love y'all, man. Yeah, I right. Look, y'all know, y'all, let's just keep it 100. In the podcast space now, just for people listening who don't know how this go, man, they got so many podcasts, so many platforms. It's everything from some people be paying to be on podcasts to some people get paid to be on podcasts. Man, with this, y'all know how organic this is. This is just me. Yeah. Hey, yeah. like like Hold hitting y'all like, bro, yeah, like this ain't no, well, did we going to fly you out? We going to flew you out and, 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 and do this, da-da-da. <laughs> Nah, man. It's like I appreciate the um. Nah, and and yeah. D's been rocking with us for several years. I mean, you could go back. This is about Flavor the, Fest. Oh, yeah. It's about the fifth interview. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Flavor Fest 2014 yeah. type stuff. You want to made the wall, the yeah. picture wall. Literally, some, yeah. people, some people in here that are Literally, in the wall as well. Man. Like this, this family, man. So we yeah. appreciate you. Make sure 
Take them off the list, the line for line. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you got that message. Don't do them again. Jeez. Bro, l- listen, listen. I can't tell y'all what to do, man. My thing is like, if y'all want if y'all want to put me on line for line, I, I can't I I can't stop y'all from it. I just was looking at line for line in general and being like, hmm, is line for line in general something that could just be tweaked? Yeah. And maybe become something sense. even more dope but just no, we we, we honestly honestly we've gotten some feedback that we really genuinely take to heart there was one that yeah. really rocked us we actually changed our I'm gonna I'm a make you do the little intro thing in a second but there was a young man that said hey I got daughters they don't even know about Jay-Z and them so when you guys do line for line you're exposing them to the other one yeah. and we were like mm-hmm. oh my god we don't want to do that so we we literally we take that stuff in and we respond to it yeah. we even so so do the do the thing that you say at the beginning <laughs> of the line. he's got it down like this now yeah yeah well i, I said it at the beginning of yours so um it's the views and opinions of the track stars and the track stars universal not the views and opinions of the artists the label producer and others if you feel offended by this please press stop now if you're a person who only listen to christian artists ain't your cup of tea we understand we have react videos topics interviews you can go check out we're not copying any battle formats we've been doing this since the 2000 d1 is not the christian version of anybody it's just a bit <laughs> so we, we we really respond we we take it seriously because we're not doing this to to blow up or nothing like that yeah. we really just saw the impact yeah. of when kids find out that there's something else some people don't even know i mean like literally don't even know christian hip-hop exists hey. christians that do hip-hop mm. exist so we 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 take all that feedback. We're listening. Mm-hmm. We're listening. Yeah, I appreciate the feedback. Um, so just know that is not. Yeah, a this band. is this is dope, bro. I don't want nobody to be extra um, uh, unnaturally like for me because I don't want anybody to be extra unnaturally against me either. I just yeah. want people to be like, man, all we can judge Dion is just what we see from him mm-hmm. and what we feel and discern from him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like that. That's just it. And I got enough people in the world that are automatically against me because they feel like I'm challenging what they are so attached to in terms of the type yeah. of music that they are, yeah, you know, so sense. so firmly sure. attached to. That my thing is just like, yeah, um, man, life is just it, it's just crazy, bro. We just gotta, I don't know, bro. Can, can we can we get some bars from you? Because every time you came up here, you giving us some. some I, I had spit some bars you for real. Yeah, every, bars time. every time, every time, every time, God, every time, no. every time. Now last y'all time, might have to last pay, time man. you saw me, you was like. <laughs> Yo, what's up? When you going what's up with the whole so I'm like You don't have to, man. Really? I mean, why not? Why okay. not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he already ready. I got, I got the beat ready. <laughs> oh, you got a whole was, beat ready. This was not planned. Oh. By me. This is by him. Oh uh, yeah. Look, this on my album loaded, you heard me? About to drop August 21st, you heard me? This is called This is called Love, lukewarm, huh? People claim to do God's work, but they steady turning more lukewarm. Y'all old heads, not baby Christians. Stop acting like y'all newborns. Wanna feel cool, wanna be accepted. Y'all a lot of line and y'all a lot of touch. Y'all ain't street. Them stories all made up. Whoa, they need a powder puff. Some say I shouldn't speak up. Real ones tell me I ain't speaking loud enough. Cats putting money over ministry. I see a long list that keep piling up. Even being saved is a business move for some of y'all. Man, you wildin', bruh. Fist in the name of God. Best believe I want all the smoke. Don't know how to duck huh i'm powered up new orleans my city just landed in philly the home of meek millie and wallow and gilly i feel like i'm floating the angels are with me gritty not grimy ain't never been slimy ever god need me that's where you gonna find me constantly serving his people therefore if i need them i got me an army behind me ah Okay, they demons irritated by my spirit. I know I'm anointed, that's why I'm fearless. I'ma need all of the fans to hear this. Some people reach the folk in the church, but they not satisfied with that feeling. They doing God's work, but then they get bored or feel like they hit a ceiling. Then they wanna go mainstream, start changing their message to water it down. Selfish ambition is taking over, it's a business decision. Follow me now. Then when that experiment don't work, huh, it's right back to the church, huh. Some people just playing the game. Truth hurts, Urgh! and they play it well, rep, and they good people, yep. And I pray our Father, hmm, deliver us from evil. God knows our hearts, Woody. Some of these fans ain't smart, Woody. This real life, this authentic, this here the state of the art, Woody. Woody. Yeah. 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 Yeah, man. Thank you, sir.
I know I'll be all over the place sometimes, but I wanted to direct the energy back to Loaded, the album. So that is on the album. You yes, heard sir. me? What's up? Yeah, because I, I just want people to know social media and all that and content, that stuff is cool. Yeah. But is that music banging? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Listen to the album. We're going to get you to number one. I believe we can do it. You think so, bro? I believe we yeah, can man. do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <sighs> I'm on your broadcast channel, so I see where people vote. When yeah. you ask uh, who all knows about the album yeah, coming out, and, and it yep. seems like it's more people that know that don't know. So I mean, yeah, that's for good. sure, man. We gonna see what happens, brother. And um, and and, and it's it's all good either way. But yeah. ain't nothing wrong with setting a goal and putting it out there. You feel Absolutely. me? Absolutely. Oh uh, man, Absolutely. I'm I'm grateful for y'all. Let me see anything else going on. Um, uh, <laughs> you got way more going on that we could get to today. For real, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, this time be flying. I love y'all. I yes, truly, sir. truly yeah. do love yes, y'all. Sir. Thank y'all. And um, we got your back, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Back, sure. Straight up, straight if, if up. you don't always. see the comments, we praying for you, and yeah. we we proud of you, brother. Thank we you, brother. So yeah, proud yeah. of you, my yeah. Son. yeah. Straight sir. up, and uh, and to anybody out there, any Christians who might uh, really feel like they were let down or disappointed uh, by finding out that I said I'm not voting for Donald Trump, and that I said no, no, no like like seriously, or that yeah, yeah. that it's like, how could you say you're gonna vote for a Democrat? You know, D1, and, and how could you do this? Listen. I still love you, and I don't say that sarcastically. I genuinely still love y'all, and I still know that we got the big man in common, which is we are serving Jesus Christ, Amen. right? Yeah, yeah. And I, I, I promise I'm down to continue to build and continue to make sure that we don't have to start tearing apart each other's character and yeah. spiritual character publicly and hurling these insults about who we are spiritually and calling each other Satanists and all this stuff. Yeah. That's not what it's about. And, and I mean that. Yeah, we should, we should be able to disagree and still love each other. If we're really brothers and sisters. If we really are. We should be able to disagree, have conversations, work it out. But as long as all of our attention is geared towards following Jesus. I could be wrong. You could be wrong. You could be wrong. Right. We're all interested in being right. For God, yeah. So mm. we can have the discussion because I'm interested to see where I'm wrong. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Everybody should be working on. Okay, God, show me, show me. What am I? What am I not seeing? What am I not seeing? Mm. I think that's why we we love doing this show because we have so many good discussions on this show where we work things out together. We figure it out. We had a great conversation recently. We were talking about you know the issue men and women are having. Like this seems like a battle going on between men and women. And we had such a good conversation where we worked it out. We looked at scripture. We we figured out what, yeah, what the, yeah, yeah. the Greek and the this and the that. That's what I really believe the body should be coming together. And it should be, especially during this season, we should be coming together on politics so that so that we could figure out what does God want us to do? Who does God want us to vote for? Mm-hmm. That's that's what that's what I'm praying for. So I'm glad you're speaking out, yeah. you're calling people towards independence mm-hmm. away from these parties yeah and and i i'm so proud of you and independence doesn't mean that you don't have to vote you exactly. know what i'm saying yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. thing and here's the other thing we can have this dialogue but when trust has been breached and if people call you out publicly and want to indict your spiritual character publicly mm-hmm. and then they're willing to apologize privately and saying but we could talk you know it's all good it's like no you should be able to apologize publicly as well when you want to publicly yeah. indict somebody's spiritual character. Right. Yeah. It's different between saying, yo, I disagree with who this person wanted to vote for, mm-hmm. da, 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 versus making uh, making an assertion that this person is out of the spirit of mm-hmm. God or this person right. is just trying to appeal to black people right. more than they trying to appeal to, to God's kingdom. So when you indict somebody's spiritual character publicly, but then privately you apologized for it, then you should be able to apologize publicly. Mm-hmm. And if you're not willing to apologize publicly, then don't try to come out with this oh, I want to talk, and this person just ducking me and don't want to talk to me or whatever. Yeah. No, that person don't trust you. Yeah, yeah. That person see that you want clicks that and content sense. more than you want conversation. That makes sense. You hear me? That oh, no, it make a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It make dollars. It makes sense. It make, <laughs> it make everything. Trust me. So it's just that simple, bro. People be like... This manipulation of like, oh, I'm going to spin this narrative this time. Well, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. You all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Because before these cameras came on, everybody in here agreed that, with that. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, I just put y'all out there. I, not, I don't I don't want to breach anything we said before. But, yeah, I agree with you. Yeah. But I do hope, I do hope that we can all get together. Even even the the ones that may be yeah. not on the right path. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, 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 I pray that we all get together. I, no matter what somebody's ulterior motives are. If we're really brothers and sisters, let's all get back on the same page, man. Mm-hmm. Man, look, dog. If you tell me off air, D, you came on air and you said that the um, what, what's the comparison uh, thing called? Line for line. line for line. D, you came on air and not only did you say 
you wasn't really a fan of line for line, but you said on air in front of people that like you think that that means that I'm in the world too much, yeah. you know, and you think that that means that I'm lukewarm and da 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 da. If you came to me and was like, D, like in terms of making an indictment on my spiritual character publicly, like that stuff, that stuff hurt me, brother. And if I say, man, I apologize to you, you're gonna be like, I appreciate that apology, but you said it publicly, D. Mm. You said it publicly, mm, indicted right. my spiritual character, though, D. I feel like you should apologize publicly. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you saying that you want to talk to me moving forward in front of everybody and all that. And I would have to be like, bro, that makes perfect sense. Like, why would I not be willing to go and publicly say, you know what? I, I shouldn't have done that. I, I wasn't wrong for disagreeing with line for right. line, but I shouldn't have made this a whole indictment. I see all the fruit from this man's walk. Right. You heard right. me? Like, right. I rock with this dude. Like, <laughs> yeah. literally. Like, yeah. So just because I ain't like line for line, I had to call him this and say this and da-da-da. That, that's all that is, brother. Mm -hmm. Hopefully the message landed. I don't, I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't sniff, I don't pop pills. I don't even curse up in my music, but it's hot still. I'm all in the hood and I ain't even strapped. Simba, burrito, they lying in they raps. You heard me? Yes, people sir. be lying, bro. People people be getting <laughs> on this internet. They be lying in they raps, boy, for real. <laughs> Making it seem like it's some. Ain't nobody ducking. Come on, man. It's called the order of operations. When I was a math teacher, it's an order of operations. Multiplication and division come before addition and subtraction. It's just order of operations in life. That's how stuff go, man. If we truly care about relationships and not just uh, algorithmic, you know, come ups and trying to get people canceled or paint people as Satanists or, you know, all that type of stuff. So that's all, man. Yeah. I'm checking the comments now. Oh, they have people <laughs> people watching this? I wonder, I'm wondering if one person in particular is watching Word. this. Yeah. <laughs> Upset. You're a fan. You're a fan. You're a fan. You're a fan. For real. Oh, man. Here we go. Man. All right. Um, <laughs> thank you for coming, yeah, bro. Man. Yeah, We appreciate you. you. Appreciate thank that, you, sir. man. It's a, it's a blessing. I try not to fire you up. I try not to fire yeah, you up. Yeah, you did a good job, bro. <laughs> I try my best. It's just, it's just like, you know, I'm not good at avoiding... Uh, I'm not good at Talking avoiding... Talking around it, yeah. Yeah, correct, correct. Yeah. And, and, and that's all that is. Uh, you did a good job, I'll say that. Thank you, bro. Thank yeah, you. Because it's, it, it's icky to me just seeing, like, in the Christian space. Like, right now, bro, I posted a video yesterday about just saying, yo, we need to be careful not to say God told me, yeah, right? I saw that. When, yeah. and, and, bro, I'm talking about God and people coming in my comments talking about politics. Because you already, they already associated. Already, yeah. already, already. So now mm -hmm. that I have seen the division inside of Christianity and I'm speaking about how to cure the division, yep. people can't get over the inhibition in their mind that makes them say, but he's voting for a different political candidate than me. So I just can't get past mm -hmm. that with anything that he says. Yes. Like, yeah. So shout out to all the people who have emotional uh, maturity. Hey, yeah. hey, that's, that's good. That's good. All right, we catch you way past when we promise. Um, so we'll let you get out of here. We're oh, gonna wow. take a break. Yeah. We're gonna take a break. Let you let you head out. Line for line up next. You in the field with the <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Let's go. Yo! Yo! I'm serious. It is. It's actually. Yeah. It.